I'm Shelly Wood and this is my tiny sewing room where I make doll clothes sewing videos. Today I'm going to show you how to make a strappy little sundress which will fit a number of different fashion dolls including vintage Barbie, tall Barbie, modern Barbie, the vintage Tammy dolls, and there are a few others. For this project, I recommend using 100% cotton. Before we begin, please go to ShellyWood.com to download this free PDF sewing pattern. Use the pattern to cut out all the pieces shown here. Now, to save time, you could use ribbons for the straps, but I'm going to use cotton. Use a fabric pencil to mark your bodice darts. Use the paper pattern to guide you. Do this for both bodice pieces. Fold the fabric along the center mark for your dart, and then sew the darts on the outside lines of the dart. Do this for both bodices. Cut away any extra dart fabric that you don't need. Now you have two bodices that look like this. Now if you're using the fabric straps that match the dress like I am, you'll want to fold the strap fabric along the longest edge, folding one side and then the other toward the center of the strap. Fold the whole strap in half and whip stitch it shut. Follow these directions for both of your straps. Turn your lining bodice to the right side, so you're looking at your seams on the clean side, and pin a strap to the bodice with some straight pins. Notice I'm aligning the inner strap edge with the bodice dart, and then the outer strap edge should be about two and a half centimeters from the closure area of the bodice. Pin both straps this way. Place the pinned bodice on your doll, and then reposition the straps if you need to, to make sure it fits. When you're satisfied with the straps positions, then you're gonna pin the bodice front to the bodice lining, keeping right sides together with the straps in between. And then stitch the two bodices together along the side, across the top, carefully stitching through each strap as you go. You have to make sure you penetrate the straps. And finally, stitching down the other side of the bodice at the closure area. Now your bodice should look like this. Now clip the stitching that you just completed. You'll see me doing that here. I'm very careful to make sure I don't go all the way through my stitches and you need to do the same. Invert the bodice. Now I like to use a chopstick to help invert those corners so they're nice and tight. You'll see me doing that right there. I give it a twist. Press the bodice and set it aside. We're gonna work with the skirt for a little while. Okay, along the long side of the skirt's fabric, you're gonna fold once and then a second time to create what sometimes is called a rolled hem. I call it a double fold hem. Whip stitch along this folded edge to create that double fold hem. Now your skirt looks like this. Next, we'll hem the back closures at the sides. We're gonna work with the short sides of the rectangle of skirt fabric. Fold once and then a second time we're creating a little hem here, and that hem is going to be about a one inch hem. You're gonna whip stitch to create that. Now your skirt should look like this. So you've got one inch hems on sides. Gather the unhemmed long side of the skirt. Now if you need a little help with gathering, I do have a tutorial for that. You can find a link in the description below this video on YouTube. Here's the key, don't knot your gathers just yet. Wait until you've basted the skirt to the bodice. Okay, so open the bodice and attach the skirt to just the printed outer fabric of the bodice using a baste stitch, 
Of course, some of you may need help with basting, and I have a tutorial for that as well. Look in the description below. Once you've finished attaching the skirt, you're ready to knot your gathered thread. Go back over your baste with a back stitch now. And yes, if you need it, I have a tutorial for the back stitch too. Enclose your gathered edge inside the bodice, folding the edge of the bodice lining inside and whip stitch along the bodice's edge just like you see here, enclosing the gathers and the bodice edge inside. Now your dress looks like this on one side and like this on the other side. Okay, fold your dress in half, keeping right sides facing. In other words, the pretty side touches the pretty side. Stitch the raw fabric together from the hem at the bottom to the back closure. Invert the whole dress. Attach a few snaps down the back. Now you're ready to try the dress on a doll. I think this turned out so cute. Okay, for more free printable sewing patterns for making doll clothes to fit dolls of many shapes and all different sizes, please remember to visit my website, ShellyWood.com. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my videos and my free patterns, please share them on social media. It actually helps my website grow when you help spread the word.